We have two main aims for the screenings. First of all, of course, to present new German films so that the buyers from all over the world have the opportunity to see the latest German films which have been produced and which might not have even been at international festivals before. But second, it's also very important to give networking opportunities to the sellers and the buyers, give them enough time to talk to each other, especially as in Cannes and Berlin, usually the buyers have like only five minutes because they are in between screenings, they have other appointments, and this is an ideal platform for the sellers to talk to their clients like for half an hour during dinner time or in between the films. It's a very useful opportunity for them. Um, there were, of course, German Films was working in a good way anyway. We have a very, very uh, professional team. But there were a few structural changes. We decided to change the cooperation with the foreign representatives. We had foreign representatives in several territories and we found that at the moment, especially the European territories, the relationships are very good between the distributors and the, the sellers, as well as between the producers. So we decided not to continue working with representatives in Italy, Spain, and the UK as well as France. We um, did establish a new structure in our office in Munich. We have regional desks now and four of our um, employees are responsible each for a regional desk mm -hmm. and they have the direct contact to the buyers, to the festivals, to the press people in those territories. So that's a very structural change which I think enforces the knowledge of the German film central office in Munich and it gives them a better opportunity to take care of things themselves instead of working with in-between persons. And we had some strategical changes. We're going to watch more which territories are growing markets for cinema and do in those territories some projects, uh, maybe like only for once or twice. Um, and work with the Goethe Institute in an enforced way in those territories because the Goethe Institute has this constant structure in a territory whereas we don't have structures mm -hmm. very often. So we would like to change our cooperation with the Goethe Institute in such a way that we get more, uh, both of us, out of the structure we have. So the first project we're going to do is in Brazil. Brazil is the biggest growing market next to Russia at the moment. And we'll have a, um, a presentation at the Sao Paulo Film Festival in autumn. And then we will show German films in three other cities in Brazil. And the Goethe Institute is helping us with the contacts with the cinemas at, in those cities. For next year, we plan to do something in China, also together with the Goethe Institute. So these are more like uh, strategical changes in the future. And we have um, also strengthened our communication with the German producers. They, in the past, we would often communicate with the sales companies, which gave the producers not enough knowledge sometimes about the projects we were doing, the films we were including. So now we communicate more closely with the producers as well, and we do like producers' meetings. I did one yesterday here in Hamburg. We invited the producers in Hamburg to have coffee with us and I could explain a little bit more about the things which are happening and they will appreciate very much to have the opportunity to exchange mm -hmm. information and to sort of maybe also tell what is their most important issue in the international field. And so we've done these meetings in Berlin, in Munich, in Cologne, in Stuttgart, now in Hamburg and this is uh, something new which has proved to be very helpful and very is being very much appreciated. And we have since one and a half years a newsletter, which is also giving more information about the foreign results of German films. And we um, we try to establish, we have a, like an advisory council with people who are working in the film industry but who are not shareholders of German films, like um, directors or film journalists or a representative of the Goethe Institute, some people working in the German film industry, and they are um, people who can help us developing further new strategies as well.
I think the most important is to give visibility to German films which are traveling abroad anyway. So we also, I almost forgot, we also enforced our press work. So we're working for some bigger festivals with press agents now and they try to, to put more emphasis on the presence of the German films in Venice or in Toronto or in Cannes, which as press work and, and public relations is very important to make the films be seen, to make the audience aware and to make distributors aware of a film. So I think the role of German films is really to enforce this visibility of the German cinema. I think the newcomer filmmakers, they are more um, eager to see what can be done. It, it, like in many years, I think people had the feeling German films, they are maybe a little bit serious, they are not really, it's, it's really very much art house and very dramatic and very historic topics. And I had the impression that the young directors, they are more keen on finding new areas, which they also want to make films, like genre films, like a, a thriller, a science fiction thriller or a psychological thriller, which you usually would see rather in Hollywood, but they, they want to show you can also do it in Germany with maybe less money, but the same kind of uh, impact or a very strong story, good good actors can work very well. We have one film like that here as well, Forgotten, Du hast es versprochen, by Alex Schmidt. It's a psychological thriller. It's like a very well-made movie, a first-time film as well. A hell of a Tim Filbaum was also a first-time film. So I do think they are widening their range of films, absolutely, yeah. And in general, I think since maybe no, Nowhere in Africa or Run Lola Run, German films have become more popular and the people do notice that you can also make money with German films and you remember Goodbye Linen, which was a worldwide success in the lives of others. So various films each year do manage to get to the international box office. Pina last year was a huge success. And I think Barbara by Christian Petzold will prove to be the next success from inside Germany. The film has almost 300,000 admissions now in France. It will be released in the US, in Brazil, in Russia. So all the big territories um, are going to show the film. And I think it, will pro it proves that people are eager to see what a German film can do at the box office. Um, some two years ago at our German-French film meetings we had something about crowdfunding regarding uh, the project Iron Sky which has become a very popular project and had even an, quite a large number of admissions here in the German cinema. So I do think um, in financing crowdfunding is something which is coming up but maybe it's also something which is only attached to certain projects. I'm not sure whether you can finance in general with crowdfunding it seems to be a high risk and on the distribution side I think we all have to think about what is going to change from the cinema into online exploitation whether it's VOD or or any other means of exploitation I do think there will be a big change in the in that but we're all wondering a little bit where it's going and how it's developing so I don't have any particular ideas how we can react to this, but it would be very important to do that. Yeah. Since 10 years we've been doing the German-French film meetings and each year two or three projects arose who were really then shot as films. So I think France definitely is a very, very important co-production country. Um, we do try to develop other regions as well. We had a Russian-German co-production meeting lately, but so far it has been a bit difficult to co-produce with Rus Russia. Now they have sort of established um, a co-development uh, fund, and I think there might be some improvements. We are having a German-Brazilian meeting in 
October in Sao Paulo. There seems to be some interest from Germany as well. And usually it would be also like Spain or Italy, but due to the economic crisis, it's not so easy, I think, to co-produce with these countries. And sometimes the Scandinavian countries can be good partners for co-productions as well. The UK has been a quite difficult one for a while already due to their limited production budget. <laughs>